part four of the six part series. Now that we've done the butt weld, we're gonna move on to the fillet weld. Now the fillet weld, the trick to welding the fillet is making sure that your vertical angle and your horizontal angles are right. And what I mean by that is first, the vertical angle. Most people like to tilt their wrist whenever they're going up, but you wanna raise your arm as you slowly go up with individual puddles. And also, your horizontal angle. With that T-joint, make sure you're right in the center of the crack going down. So, so you don't want your rod to be on one side or the other, straight in the middle going up. Now we're gonna go ahead and weld this fillet. Now I'm gonna start off and bring the two puddles together from each side. And I'm running about 90 amps on the Lincoln Buzz Box. And we're going up nice and slow, making sure that I'm creating that puddle and then it's gonna be a concave puddle, not a convex. You don't want it to pump out. You want it to you know, be slick in there and smooth, concave. So I'm going up and I'm kinda of doing like a little side to side wiggle movement just to make sure it pushes in on each side. And with 90 amps, I'm moving a little bit quicker than that butt weld because if you stay somewhere too long or go slow, it's gonna burn through. So you wanna move kinda of quick and make sure that it's in there. Because if you run colder, it's going to make it convex and it won't be in there very well. So about 90 amps or 105 amps on the Lincoln Buzz Box and it should about do it. And make sure you keep that, that upward rod angle the whole way up through there. You don't want a downwards or straight in angle, you want an upwards angle. So we're going up through here, making sure each weld is nice and consistent. And there we are, that's the fillet weld. 90 amps on a Lincoln Buzz Box.